lately it's just been one of those days uh, for me, just personally. I want to be super transparent. There's a lot of things going on in my life. Nothing bad, um, but some situations with people close to me that uh, that's breaking my heart. And just in general, you know, I, I'm the strong friend, right? I'm the strong person. So I get a lot of problems, a lot of feedback. Um, you know, you guys hit me up all the time, what's going on in your life. And more than ever, there's so many people who aren't happy. There's so many people who are depressed in their life. And trust me, I know how it feels, man. Like I go through my times where I'm depressed. I go through my times where I'm like questioning God. I go through my times where I'm just like, man, am I worth anything? Yes, me. So I want you to know it's human. It's normal because oftentimes we think our pain is special. And I'm not trying to be insensitive to your pain, but your pain isn't special, right? Somebody somewhere has been through what you're going through, is going through what you're going through, is gonna, and it's going to go through what you go through, has conquered through, has healed from, has recovered from. And you have to hold on to that piece of faith, guys, because too many times we depend on happiness, right? We want happiness. We feel like if we don't have certain things, and I'm going to tell you a few things. I should have, like, numbered these out, but there's a few things why... I feel like we're so depressed at times. Why we're not happy, at least I figured out with my life. Number one, not no particular order, but a lot of times we aren't appreciating our life, right? We're so good at focusing on what we don't have. And I get it. Sometimes we're going through sicknesses that suck. We're experiencing things that are unfair. We're like, God, why me? And I just realized this with my life that doesn't serve you. And I'm not trying to be like an over-optimistic person, but when I change my mindset from why me to why not me, like why, why ever I, I'm in, why ever I'm enduring this season that I'm in, I'm going to get the most out of it because I know the purpose is greater than the pain. I know the purpose is greater than the confusion. I know the purpose is greater than the loss. I know the purpose is greater than the setback. And I know it's hard when you're in a storm. I know it's hard when you're in a storm, but look at this beautiful nature. It took a storm. It took, it took rain to grow this beautiful scenery, to grow this beautiful environment. And oftentimes in our life, it takes those things. It takes the hard times. I wish it didn't. It takes the losses. It takes people walking out of your life. It takes things that just pop up and punch you in the face. But that's when your faith is tested. That's when your faith is built. Because my friend, your life is bigger than you. So the first thing I want to talk about is a lot of times, you know, it's, it's appreciation, but also it's comparison. We're oftentimes comparing our life especially on social media. We look at online and we say, oh man, like I don't have that, so I'm not happy. Oh, look at their relationship. It's pretty perfect and they're smiling. Oh, my relationship sucks. Oh, I don't have that many followers online or when I go live, I don't have 4,000 people. Oh, I must not be making an impact. And you sit there and you judge your life based upon somebody else's life. You judge your life based upon what you see. And too many times, the reason why we're not happy because we're dependent on what's happening in our life to provide the happiness to our life. We're dependent on what's happening in our life to provide the happiness to our life. And if you live a life dependent on happiness, I promise you, you're going to live a very depressed life. You're going to live a very up and down life. You have to learn how to create your joy. You have to learn how to create, quote unquote, your happiness. You have to learn how to stop comparing your life and start appreciating your life. A lot of times we're not happy because we're holding on to things we need to let go of. A lot of times we're not happy because we're saying what it's going to be. We, we are controlling our future in a way of saying, okay, my life is not going to be anything. Oh, God doesn't love me because I lost this relationship. Oh, my dream failed, so there's nothing more to my life, so I want to end my life. I want to tell you right now, and I'm not just saying this because it sounds good, but there's more to your life than the things that you're currently going through. There's somebody somewhere that is in a worse situation than you. There's somebody somewhere that wishes and is praying that they could be in your situation. And I know that might not make it easier, but when you start to realize how blessed you are, when you start to realize that everything is a gift to your life, even the things that seem like curses, when you use those things, when you allow God to use the things for the plans of your life, the things that you don't understand, because that is faith, my friends. We live too much on trying to understand. The reason why we're not happy, because we're trying to allow our understanding to make us happy. Let me tell you something. With the plan that God has for your life, it doesn't work off of your understanding. You're not going to understand it. It's not going to make sense. I couldn't construct this. Looking back, I see how the dots connected, but I couldn't predict it where I'm at. Where, where I'm at right now, back in my future, five years ago, 10 years ago, shoot, even a year ago, I couldn't have predicted these things. But you know what? I control what I control. I became grateful. I became thankful even for my hard times, even for my struggles, even for my setbacks, even for my sicknesses. I'm giving praise every single day because you don't understand and you don't know what actually is happening for your life. We live by this. We live by what we see. What we see is not always the reality. It's our perception of the reality, but none of us knows what's truly happening beneath the surface. None of us knows why we had to experience that bad thing to bring something good out of it. None of us know that. I can name so many gifts in my life, so many blessings in my life that came from a bad moment. Rehab time came from a bad moment. My kids at that time, the first kid came from an accident moment. 
I know a lot of things that's happened in my life that didn't make sense, that ended up making sense, that saved my life. And so I just want to just with passion, man, because too many people are giving up. Too many people are throwing in the towel. Too many people are saying my life is over. And when you make up your mind, when you do that, your life is going to follow. There's no way to get out of that. There's no way to get out that perspective. There's nothing I can tell you if you're choosing to depend on motivation, if you're choosing to depend on your reality of life, if you're choosing not to operate in faith, there's nothing I can tell you. You're going to keep experiencing the same things over and over. And some of us, let's be real, we're unhappy because our environment sucks. Let's be honest. The people around our life sucks. The people around our lives are draining us, are making us toxic. I was going to talk about relationships on this video, but I wanted to give it a break. But I'm going to just kind of go on this. We're around situations that suck, okay? We're around situations where people don't pour into your life, they take from it. We're around, we're around situations where people don't speak greatness in your life, they speak failure into your life. They speak you're not nothing. They tell you without me, you will be nothing. They tell you that, oh, you suck. They tell you that, oh, that's not going to happen for your life. And you keep your life around that, my friends, as I get passionate as I leave here. It is on you. I get it. It's hard to make decisions. Trust me. I make hard decisions every single day, but it becomes easier when you know the life that you want to live. It becomes easier when you get clear, you get clarity on where you want to go with your life and what you want to feel with your life. Facts.